Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Magic Steve. I'm back and I'm going to try and make today's video a quick one, but apologies. I have been under the weather for like two weeks now, so I apologize about the lack of videos uploaded. And good news is the weather is finally getting nice where I live, which means we can do more than stupid food reviews because I'm honestly getting a little sick of it. I'm sure you guys are sick of seeing me in the same shirt and the same hat with the same backdrop, okay? I'm not hating on my content, but I kind of am because I'm in charge of it. So, but I hope you guys are still enjoying the content. All I'm saying is it's gonna be a little mashup. I'm gonna try and do some camping stuff this summer and outdoorsy things and just other stuff in general, so. But anyways, with that being said, we're doing another food review today. And I might be a little late to this, but the Takis, intense nacho, non-spicy. If y'all have never had this before, I don't know. We'll see how they are. Um, I uploaded a video with some of my good buddies over on the B-Man channel. If you haven't checked out our channel, I would highly recommend it. We could do some fun uh, collaboration videos and so yeah I'll put a link in the description of this video to the channel but oh boy here we go all right so normal Takis are pretty spicy right I mean I'm white so I have a pretty low spice tolerance but that's what we're dealing with it's like a really uh I guess bright orange, kind of like a mac and cheese color. All right, y'all know the mac and cheese crayon. Anyways, here we go. Smells cheesy and I'm hoping it's good, so. I have another one. I'm just guessing this is because it's like a rolled up chip, but these are not that great. I'm sorry, I gotta be honest, I can't lie. When they say intense nacho, I expect a pretty cheesy flavor, right? I'm not getting much from this. I mean, it smells cheesy, but like, it kind of tastes cheesy for like a split second, and then next thing you know, you're just chewing the chip and it just tastes like the corn. Mm, I don't know. So I'm gonna give these like a four out of 10. Not that great. They're still better than like original sun chips or other chips, but I don't know. I mean, chips are chips, you know, and they're salty and they're addicting. And these are not salty or addicting. I mean, they're a little salty, but they're not super addicting, so. On the chip scale, these are pretty low. And on my scale, they're low. So, unfortunately, a bad food review. But, we gotta have one every now and then. But, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, consider subscribing. You don't have to. Obviously, I'm not gonna force you. And, I wanna thank you guys for watching. Like I said, B-Men, down in the description. It's our collaboration channel. I would highly recommend it. And, I would appreciate it if you guys did check it out. It helps us out and I'll see you guys in the next video.